Hello, I'm Mitch with Compass Tools and we're going to use GPS controller to configure the NEMA output on a Trimble device. Step one is to download and install GPS controller. It's a free download from Trimble.com. Once you're there, go to support and training, support A to Z. And it's a very long list, so I usually hit control F as in control find and type in GPS space controller. If you're not sure what version you should install, click on support notes and click on this mapping and GIS product compatibility list that will tell you which version. Then you can go to downloads If you have a Trimble Yuma, you'd uh, get the download for Windows Vista 7 or 8. Uh, but if you have the Geo, the Juno, the Nomad, uh, any of the field devices, you would go software for Windows Mobile. And find the English download. And go ahead and save and run that. Before you run it, uh, you will need to make sure your device is connected through Windows Mobile. Uh, but then because you grabbed a Windows Mobile download, uh, once you run it, it will install on the connected Trimble device. Once you've installed GPS controller on your device, go ahead and tap the Windows Start flag and scroll to the bottom of your programs and you'll see GPS controller. Alright, then we'll switch from Skyplot to Setup and GNSS Settings and scroll down just a little bit and here's the NEMA output. Uh, if you're having troubles with NEMA, it's probably turned off. So you will want to turn it on. And also, uh, if you've turned it on and you're still having trouble, you might tap on the wrench and check the output interval, the port, the baud rate. And also NEMA comes in different sentences. Uh, most softwares are happy with the GGA string that contains uh, most of the location information that a software program would need. Um, but if they require additional NEMA sentences to be turned on, you should be able to find it in the documentation. But GGA is in enabled. Uh, some softwares, if you do have too many strings turned on, it can cause problems. So start with GGA. Uh, probably the next most common is RMC. And see if your software likes that. We'll say done. And done. We got a message that said uh, NEMA settings will be applied on disconnect. So this will disconnect from the receiver and apply those NEMA settings. Or we could have just exited the program. That does the same thing. Uh, but just to show you that uh, the NEMA is working, we'll fire up a, a very common NEMA application, which is Esri's ArcPad. We don't really need a map open, so we'll say choose a map to open and we'll click the red X and then go for the GPS preferences and uh, on this, this is a Trimble Juno, the NEMA message is on COM4 so we'll say OK and activate the GPS and uh, we've got a location so it is reading that NEMA sentence that we just turned on uh, ArcPad also has a pretty cool GPS rangefinder debug and that's what the GGA string looks like it's just a uh, really simple string you could almost read it like here's a latitude here's a longitude uh, there's also a number of satellites and a quality indicator in there but uh, NEMA is configured and we're ready to go map 
Thank you for watching this short recording from Compass Tools. If you have questions, you can email them to support at compasstoolsinc.com or for more information, please visit compasstoolsinc.com.